we have a fight between the two of you two. The fight beyond worlds is finally here. Goku, Vegeta versus Superman and Batman. Let's get this video started. Whee! What are you doing? Just something I've wanted to do for a long time on this video. Let's start things off with Superman and Batman. Batman was just your normal rich kid billionaire kid with his parents. But one day, everything changed when his parents were killed by a murderer. Superman came from a world kept on, but his world was in danger when it exploded. But his family had to send him far to Earth. Far, far away to Earth. So people could... So he could help people. And that's when these two first met and they fought. But when they realized the murders had the same name, they decided to work together. Hmm. What a creepy origin story. Tell me about it. But anyways. While these two may seem like your normal business company billionaire and news reporter, they are not. They are very good when it comes to their great feats. Superman's strong enough to help move. Superman's strong enough to move the Earth, but compared to Superboy, who's moved the Earth, the Earth weighed over two quintillion tons. So he has the strength of that. Along which he's strong enough. Batman may be your just man's billionaire, but he's very strong. He's lifted. He's been working out. He's lifted bench press and yeah. Superman and. Shazam and Super Woman are, yeah, were able to move a planet, which this planet seems to be around like Saturn or Jupiter. The force to do this would be over 500 quintillion tons of force. They are extremely fast. Superman's fast enough to keep up with the Flash. The Flash that can time after time. And, and Batman has been able to. A tr how smart man is. He's like, like Superman or Green Lantern when he stole the Green Lantern's ring. And Green Lantern is fast enough to move through planets. And Flash is. So yeah. Flash is. And plus, Superman spot Shazam, who can move over 133 trillion times the speed of light. And Shazam is fast enough to keep up with the Flash. And Superman's been able to. Travel through time, like when he realized that his girlfriend or wife, whatever, died, he quickly was able to travel through time. Not the Flash. Superman's durable enough to survive a black hole in his face, and many of the Justice League have survived black holes, like the Flash, which would be over five hundred octillion tons of energy. The Justice League has fought Darkseid, who was able to reach the end of Earth, and. One of them was Perry, who Perry starts from the Shattered God. Like no such, Batman has a huge set of arsenal. He has the Batmobile, he has guns, he has batarangs, he has a grappler, and many more with many toys he uses. Batman has the Hellbat suit, which was able to enter was able to enter Apocalypse and save his son Damien, who has died from Dark Side. That's his most greatest suit ever he's used. Superman's even Superman's tr trump card comes from the sun, where you can use the sun's solar energy. When him and Wonder Woman are able to use an atom slicing sword, which is powerful enough around atoms. Yeah. But like no slouch, these two are extremely weak. Superman may be strong, powerful, and everything, but his greatest weakness is kryptonite, and if he's too close to kryptonite, he would die easily. Batman is just your regular billionaire, and his weakness is everything. Like, if you break his spine, his spine is broken. If you break his arm, his arm is broken. If you break any part of his body, he's broken. Yeah, Superman may have heat vision and ice breath, but don't, don't help him against kryptonite, which kryptonite is... in how the heck? He's a kryptonian, so basically you should be immune to his immune. But that's... But mainly you think the sun power is maybe Superman's jump card, but... Look at this golden... Superman and Bill... One billion... It's golden for him. Yeah. Okay. But still, these two are your 
are the greatest duo that you ever cross, come across. If you see these two, you're going to be in a shock when these two work together. Planet Vegeta, home of King Vegeta, and home of Prince Vegeta, and home of Kakarot, or you like to know him, Goku. Goku was just your normal monkey alien thing, but one day when his plan was come to an end by Frieza, his parents had no choice but to send him to Earth, where he would be raised by the one and only Gohan. But when Gohan died by when, when Gohan died when Goku turned to Great Ape, Goku did not know what happened that day, so he swore he would find the person that killed his grandpa. But he was taken in by the one and only Roshi. Vegeta was not there at the time. He escaped his planet back then. But if you think this is your average day, they, they fought many times and Goku has always come out victorious. But aside from their fightings, they th these two have come up with many attacks. Their key is their with their key they can use many great feats. Like with Vegeta's Gout Gun, Final Flash, Key Blast, Super Saiyan, and his smudging form. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue God, and Super Saiyan Blue God. Goku has surpassed that with his K.O. Ken, False SSJ, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Full Super Saiyan Blue, and K.O. Ken. And finally, Ultra Instinct and Master Ultra Instinct. Yeah, Goku's strong enough. Goku, Goku and Vegeta are strong enough to destroy planets. Putting them planet busting, planet busting our multiversal people. They're strong enough to. Goku and Vegeta are fast. Goku's fast enough to run on Snake Way, which takes them days and days. Which took them days through every episode. Aside in the manga, stated. Goku and Vegeta are fast enough to react to Goku. And Kid Goku was able to react to lightning and. Goku can be compared to Roshi, who's able to fast enough to catch bullets. Vegeta can fly. Vegeta and Goku have flown many times and fast enough. Goku's fast enough to catch up with Jiren, who threw an energy ball, but then a Milky Way came under him. The reaction to do that with the Milky Way would be over 500 faded tons times the speed of light. Or if you like to call it, a Milky Way speed. Yeah, not at that. In Muscle Ultra Instinct, he's fast enough to dodge punches and able to out dare them and punch the opponent. Goku and Vegeta are extremely durable. They survive countless explosions, countless blows. Goku has survived. Goku has fought Beerus, who destroys many universes, who's destroyed planets, and, can, and has, has met the Grand Master, who the Grand Master is set to. Powerful enough to destroy universes. Putting Goku and Vegeta multiversal, durable, and powerful as well. But their true trump card comes there from their fusions. They have fused many times in Vegeta, but none Vegeta is not their true trump card. Comes from Gogeta. Gogeta and has fought Broly, who's powerful enough to make or able to shatter dimension. Have been and also enter another dimension as well. That is extremely powerful. They are extremely experienced thanks to Goku's martial art years and experience as a child. Same with Vegeta, he's been, he's, same with Vegeta, he's been able to like, fight as a kid. That's extremely impressive. But nonetheless, they, well nonetheless they're extremely, Vegeta is extremely smart but Goku is dumb. But Goku likes to eat a lot. And if, sometimes if eating doesn't help him, he, he has to get serious to fight. Sometimes he would laugh at his opponents when they are extremely weak. But nonetheless, Go they they when they have been defeated multiple times by many opponents, like Vegeta, who's been killed by Frieza, Goku, who's been who got killed by Pickle, but to save his friends from Raditz, his brother. And yeah, but nonetheless, these two have shown many impressive feats. Will they be able to defeat? Superman and Batman together. Let's find out.
as Superman and Batman finish up a crime, they hear that explosion coming from coming from a field of rocks and rubble. Seeing Goku and Vegeta train. Goku's saying, wow, Vegeta, you've gotten tough over the years. But still, not enough against me. But then Batman said, hold it. You can... Why are you two doing this? What's the big deal? We're training for a... a ter we're training to see if we can get tough enough to fight. Tough enough to fight. The Grandmaster and Jiren. And... Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Well, I guess we have a sparring match. Clark, really? Batman's saying. Well, yeah, we need a... Well, we haven't we haven't fought many times, and plus, those criminals are just weak. We challenge you two to a fight. Vegeta laughing, saying you cannot defeat the Prince of All Sands. Goku saying, "Come on, Vegeta, <coughs> let's give it a shot. Let's see if they really are strong enough to fight us." Vegeta then saying, "Fine, Kakarot, let's do this. This fight will get." Red Hot, fight. Goku attacks Superman as he quickly punches him in the gut and kicks him down and jars at him. And he punches when he blows. <coughs> Batman runs out to Vegeta, but Vegeta teleports and hits Batman from behind as he uppercuts him. Vegeta's saying, you're weak, you bug. Batman throwing a battering at Vegeta, Vegeta and dodging it, but then Batman quickly punches Vegeta in the face and uppercuts him and kicks him in the leg and gut punches him. Vegeta then getting back up, saying, Big Bang Attack, as he fires it at Batman. Batman then jumping, but it was a distraction for Vegeta to gut punch him as well, as he quickly sends Batman hurling mirrors away. Batman then pulling out the Batmobile, that quickly comes to his knees and quickly hit rams Vegeta, as he quickly hits him, that quickly hits him. But she is then holding down the Batmobile as he lifts it, saying, Gallic gun, fire! Batman jumping out as the Batmobile is destroyed, as Batman calling on a robot as he quickly punches So he grabs Vegeta as he throws him down repeatedly, and as he uses multiple punches. But she then getting, but she then turning a golden hair super saiyan as he quickly destroys the Batmech, and he quickly kicks Batman far back. Goku and Superman fight. Very powerful. Then, well, you're strong, but not strong against this form. Goku then turning into a gold light form, turning into his Super Saiyan form as he quickly teleports from behind. Superman, Superman confused as Goku comes from behind and punches him in the gut. As he quickly teleports and knees him from behind. And Goku quickly throwing him down. Superman then punching. Goku in the gut, but then Goku has enough time to turn Super Saiyan 2 as he quickly punches Superman in the face, then grabbing his face again and throwing him. <coughs> Goku then saying, enough of this game. He turns into Super Saiyan 3 as he quickly charges at Superman, and he quickly attacks him. He quickly gut punches him, then uses key to his attacks. As Goku gains serious, he quickly grabs Superman's leg and throws him. As Batman and Superman collide on their backs. Batman saying, enough of this game. We have to get serious, Clark. Superman agreeing. As Superman's eyes glow, he fires a laser at Goku. Goku then saying, Goku then seeing as he quickly grabs a hand and quickly uses, fires an attack at Superman's laser. And quickly was able to counter on time. As he quickly... As he quickly sees that he's not there, Superman quickly punches Goku in the gut and quickly grabs his leg and tosses him around. Superman and Batman then summon a suit as he quickly runs up to Batman and Vegeta and quickly gut punches Vegeta <coughs> and throwing him down and kicking him. As Goku and Vegeta hit their backs, they turn their head, their, their hair changes red as Goku turns into Super Saiyan God. As they both turn Super Saiyan God, as they quickly teleport on Batman and Vegeta. I'm dead, blah, blah, Superman and Batman. As they both hit 
Goku didn't punch as super and powerful as he sensed when hurling back. Universe. Super then punches got Goku as they both collide with many fists. Goku then turning blue as he quickly punches Super in the gut that sends him flying to the sun. Goku saying, oh man, that was not even a challenge. Which he then got onto the ground as he quickly turns blue. Batman and colliding as they quickly go through multiple blows. While Superman flies into the sun as he quickly powers up. Lying down, but Sengoku looks surprised. Wow, you're back. Collide in a fist. They both use multiple blows on each other. Goku quickly turns, saying, KO can times 20. So quickly, as both Superman and him use all their power. Vegeta then powering up, laughing. This is pathetic. As Batman calling on the Hellbat suit, as they quickly punch, colliding their fist. Multiple blows at each other. But she is saying enough of this nonsense. He quickly grabs Batman and quickly puts him down to the ground and saying, and then throwing up his side saying, Final Flash! As he uh, hits Batman directly, that scenarates Batman as his helmet. I leave his helmet. And he really steps on it saying, Worthless. Superman seeing this, he quickly gets angry and turns into a gold form. And collide, but they're weak. But Goku turned him out Ultra Instinct as he quickly dodges all Superman's attacks and gut punches Superman. Then turning Mass Ultra Instinct as he quickly knees Superman in the gut. But Superman not giving up, he quickly punches Goku that turns him back to normal and Vegeta as well as he's hurling back. Goku is saying, Vegeta, we have to fuse. It's our only option. He's saying, Fine, Kakarot. This is our one shot left. As they fuse, turn into Gogeta. Tell point out Superman as he turns Super Saiyan. As they turn Super Saiyan. But get that and turn to Super Saiyan Blue. As they quickly gut punch just Superman that turns him back to his base form. Kneeing him from behind and quickly punching his head. Not quickly, sends him flying into the sun. But Gogeta is saying, not this time, as he teleports. But saying, big bang Kamehameha. As he quickly fires at Superman. Superman then... Doing his lasers as a red flash attacks. About to punch Gogeta, but Gogeta blocking and throwing him. Then raising up a hand with a spiritual attack as it throws on Superman. Quickly, this is he destroying. The Superman hits the bot ground and, ex and the ball hits him and explodes directly. Leaving nothing left of Superman. It's up a red cape as it flies into the, as it flows into the sky. Goku and Vegeta turn back to now. <sighs> that was pretty fun. Saying, Goku, we should do that again sometime. Hmm. Well, we have to leave now. As they both teleport back to Omachichi. Okay, uh, Well, now it's easy. Well, anyways, Goku and Vegeta went. And let me tell you why. While Superman and Batman may have been more the two smarter people, and they had a better arsenal than the Batman's made things over the years, they definitely... But Superman... Batman did stand no chance against Gogeta's fusion. Gogeta. Gogeta's powerful enough to break a universe or dimension. It's another dimension. So basically, I don't think Superman or Batman are able to powerful enough to keep up that. And Goku's been able to make a Milky Way under him. Well, that's true. Goku and Vegeta are strong enough to do many things. They're fast. They've been able to... And turns into another dimension. They're strong. They're fast enough to. Goku's fast enough to react to lightning and dodge bullets, and fast enough to react to Jiren's attack made a milk away under him. Vegeta's strong enough to punch this machine. A machine that could have raw power. They're Goku and Vegeta are extremely durable around multiversal busting attacks. Luckily, this one's Zeno Goku over Chia. Oh, they were curve stop. Goku, Superman, and Batman. <laughs> eh, you're right. Anyway, Goku and Vegeta are extremely experienced and skilled in martial arts. And he's like, hold on, Batman knows martial arts and, and Superman's experience. Nah, nah, nah. But Goku is far more experienced as a kid. He's trained all his life as a kid. Well, Batman only endured vengeance as a kid. I started training till he was like 
older. And Superman did the same. Well, Superman and Batman had the better teamwork and their intelligence. They didn't have enough against good Joker and Vegeta or and Gogeta. Strength, speed, durability, martial arts, and experience. And also forget um Super Batman's Arsenal. Yes, they were there. Our winner is Goku and Vegeta. Next time on Revenge Death. The season two finale of Revenge Death, Archie Sonic versus Wally West.